Good morning to all my brothers and sisters out there in the world. This is your boy Jehoshaphat. And I just want to go over three small things that I had learned in Bible studies. Now, I can't say that I didn't, this is my first time learning this. I didn't know this for so long. But when you go over scripture and you go over the Bible, you're learning. You know what I'm saying? You're learning. Like, so many different people made mistakes in that Bible. And if you can learn from their mistakes and not offend God, and what they did wrong If you can learn from some of their mistakes Because like I say all the time They regular people Just because it's 2017 Doesn't mean that them people 2,000 years ago Didn't go through the same heartaches That we go through today as people As modern day people Now the first one God and, and this is the impression Other people can take it however they want to You might see it a little different But this is my impression of what I got From what your father told me in Bible studies I love reading the Bible y'all I really do Y'all call me crazy all y'all want I'm trying to make it to heaven I got a one way ticket I'm not trying to go to hell You can choose to go to that place if you want to That's your choice That's your conscious decision On your everlasting soul Now the first one it's three things. Only th I'm gonna keep this real fast, real simple. Number one, God loves killing evil people. He loves to kill evil people. So if you're a wicked person and you're doing evil stuff in this world and you hurting people, just remember this: God cannot wait to kill you. Remember this too: God hates some people from their mother's womb. So why wouldn't God take pleasure in killing evil people? I learned that. And Bible study that God cannot tell a lie. He cannot lie. You know what I'm saying? He cannot tell a lie whatsoever. Okay, I'm going off traffic. I'm telling y'all other stuff. Okay, the second thing. Okay, vengeance is in the eyes of the Lord. It is not your job to take vengeance on anybody. Now, me, I have a problem with that. I'm only a man. You know what I'm saying? I throw myself under the bus all the time. I'm just a regular person, y'all. Turning the other cheek. You know what I'm saying? On a, in, a, in a physical altercation with another person by the law states, and I follow the law too. The law states if somebody hurts you or do something to you, you have the right to defend yourself. Defend yourself. You know what I'm saying? But vengeance is in the eyes of the Lord. Damn, the word calling. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Go ahead. Copy. Now, okay, vengeance is in the eyes of the Lord, right? It's not your job to take vengeance on anybody. You gotta, you gotta wait on Jesus just to see what Jesus is gonna do to that person, and you know, you reap what you sow. I don't, I don't care how you cut that piece of paper. I don't care how you count it up. You still gonna have to reap what you sow. Now, the last thing, my brothers and sisters, and I'm gonna go on ahead and get up off of here. Just one more thing. Now, God, he puts on your heart and on your mind the laws. Don't get me wrong. You can go through the Bible and you can learn the different statues and all of that. But he put on your heart and on your mind the laws in which he wants you to follow. So anytime you go against what's inside of your heart, you know you're wrong. You know you're doing wrong. When you go against that law that's in, that God provided inside of your heart and inside of your mind, you should know that you're doing wrong. Now, this is your boy Fat Boy Fish with just my little topic for today.